Press. Welcome again to the, to the Winnipeg Free Press News Cafe. I'm here with Patrick Chan, who is the two-time defending world figure skating champion and five-time defending Canadian champion and a whole bunch of other defending champions. <laughs> uh, now, Patrick, you're, this isn't exactly figure skating weather. What brings you to Winnipeg? Um, well, I've been kind of traveling across Canada, uh, kind of raising awareness, um, trying to raise funds for myself for training, um, because as you know, all amateur athletes struggle to kind of pay the bills for uh, training and getting the resources, um, the right resources to have success in, in what we do. So uh, hopefully leading up to the Olympics, uh, that's the greatest momentum is uh, continuing to defend your title. and. Uh, I was able to do that just this past March, and uh, it wasn't the best, but definitely still was a, a good skate, and uh, definitely learned a lot, and just keep building this momentum going into Sochi in 2014. And Sochi is the ultimate goal, I'm guessing. Of course, guessing. yeah, okay. of course. Now you I have been skating quite a long time uh, also, even though I'm so young. It's uh, taken quite a bit of time out of my life to, to train for skating, and um, it takes a lot of sacrifice for myself and my parents, so uh, sometimes it's not, it's easy to think about what, I, what am I going to do after the next Olympics, maybe I'll stop skating and go to school, have a normal life, but then again I don't want to lose the excitement of competing and kind of being on the road, it's, it's an exciting life to have, so uh, there's a lot of things to consider, so it's a bit early to, to say anything, uh, so we'll see. A couple of years ago, the Globe and Mail named you as on their power list as one of the most influential sports figures in Canada. I'm wondering, just the, the, the gist I get from you is I'm, I'm wondering when you have taken that, that knowledge of that list and gone somewhere and really started throwing your weight around. <laughs> Maybe at the poker table, like in uh, the casino. Uh, but yeah, I was like, I was ranked 30 out of the, the top 30, so I just made the list, so it was, <laughs> I don't know how much power I have, but it's, uh, it's cool to be on that list either way, got to start somewhere, so um, it's a very exciting position, and being on the same list as, you know, Sidney Crosby and Clara Hughes is uh, pretty, pretty flattering. Well, we, wanted, we know you're on a tight schedule today, so we wanted to thank you for, for stopping by and, and telling us why you're here and, and giving us a little bit of insight into your career and what's going forward here. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the podium in Sochi. Thank thanks, you. Thanks for coming. Thanks. <laughs>